This will be a teardown video. We will have a look inside. Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Max Koshu and you're watching the beautiful electronics blog. Here's a unit which was sent in by a friend of mine. He is living in Russia. Unit originally comes from Italy. They made him pay 40 euro for shipping from Italy to Austria, which is not a large distance. So that's strange. And he asked me if uh, I can remove the CRT with the high voltage power supply and some miscellaneous parts uh, around the CRT and uh, to send it to a guy in Germany, which can forward it to Russia. Because the whole thing as a unit is too heavy for shipping to Russia. So. This will be a teardown video. We will have a look inside. And uh, yeah, unit is not working. So yeah, I was told it is just for parts. It is rather old and uh, has got a lot of dust. Anyway, we will have a look inside right now. And look at that. Isn't it beautiful? There are many, many transistors. Are they socketed? Yeah, they are socketed. Interesting. Beautiful. These here are thermally coupled. Oh, there's a little botch here. Interesting. I think there's pretty much everything made from Philips. Even the transistor here, we see the Philips code here. Very interesting to watch. I will sell the PCBs as a whole and probably the power supply. Yeah, as faulty for spares because apparently there are some faults on here, but probably someone can use these parts and I really need every single euro for this channel and uh, for the store. That's an op amp. Beautiful. Wonderful. LM208. H. The auto condition doesn't really matter. It's all about the contacts and the inner parts. Here is the CRT shielding, which is apparently Mu metal. Here are. What's that? Ah, this, I guess, is the delay line. There's most likely a long uh, network or a long cable included. We will have a look at that very, very soon. Front switches. That's probably an attenuator. And some pots. Beautiful. I think I will sell the complete uh, face plate with all knobs and everything included. Maybe someone has a unit like that and needs spare parts and I will offer them for a very cheap price. The latch is on the right side here. Oh, it is broken right now. That's, uh, yeah, sorry. And on this side, they have done it the wrong side. You can't access it. You can't access it here. That's a pain. So, oh, someone made a terrible mistake here. You see, it's on the wrong side. The ledge should be on the other side here. 
even with both hands this was almost impossible to remove here. The RF cables are very satisfying to remove. That's oddly satisfying. Here is another cute little botch. Look at that. Wow. Someone really messed around here. And it continues here. Woo! Wow! And the layout is rather interesting. The quality of the PCB is rather high. I have to admit. The Schuko Schutzkontakt connector is broken. Probably still working, who knows, most likely. And we are on the bottom side. So let's check this out. Oh yeah. Philips capacitors, they are now made by BC components, uh, yeah, which is now Wishe, I guess. Not sure if I have pronounced it correctly. And some socketed integrated circuits. Some exciting botches. And beautiful ICs and some other parts. Look at the capacitor in the middle. This is socketed as well. That's interesting. There are more parts socketed. Why? Very interesting. Here are the wonderful RF connectors. An interesting mixture of through-hole components and SMD components. <laughs> yeah, and the classic old Philips Mallard capacitors. That's interesting. I get the stress of the, out of the cable here. Very well. This is a shielded cable. Most likely Teflon and the signal cable is going to this pin here. And all the stress is stopped here. And I could have uh, made this here any longer to really get the stress out of the uh, soldering pin here, the solder connection. But the idea is great. We have an isolated shaft going from the face blade to the power supply. Let's have a look at the power supply and flyback transformer. Oh yeah! This is the high voltage cascade or high voltage power supply and if there's something wrong here and it is most likely here then it is a pain in the ass really you would normally change the complete module which is not available anymore I guess so yeah that's a real really big problem hmm wonderful Here's the power supply. Okay. 
We have a broken reefer capacitor. And that's it. <laughs> Everyone said this unit is beyond repair. But look at that, it's just a broken reefer cap. That's all it is here. Most likely. Other than that, this is a switch mode power supply. This, I guess, is the shielded RF transformer. We see some miscellaneous parts here. Very high quality Philips caps. They are sealed, hermetically sealed. Excellent. And a lot of corrosion where the reefer thing happened. Good quality caps. An interesting uh, rectifier. Some more interesting capacitors. And that's it. Look at this wonderful CRT. It really is beautiful. There are no burn marks. There's nothing. This is outside on the glass. Some dirt. I was told this is a special tube, so we will have a very short look underneath the shielding. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. It is uh, transparent, that's interesting. Normally we see here a metal, metalized uh, material of some sort, but this one is transparent. There's probably a copper coil here. Yes. And look at the gun. Here's the electron gun. Wonderful. And there is a second one, or what's that? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, sorry for the background noise. My landlord is doing some changes on the construction of this shop here. And they are quite busy at the moment. Oh yeah. Wonderful. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. Everything is removed from this body. And now we will have a look inside this uh, delay line, hopefully. Let's see, ah, some more screws, probably. Wait a minute. I have used a very exotic screwdriver. This one here. Now we should have a look inside. Woo! That's exotic. <laughs> look at that. Wow. That's some sort of a delay line. Awesome. Yeah. They are not connected to each other. This is just... Just RF Voodoo. I'm very happy that I have opened this one up here. Yeah, I can now send my friend in Russia this wonderful tube. I will pack it up very professional and secure. And uh, here are the other pieces from this scope and that's it for today 
I hope you liked and enjoyed this episode. Please support me on Patreon or just put a thumbs up. And you're always welcome. See you next time. Bye.